Wake up everyone, the game's over. United nil, Chelsea nil, let's be honest. That was a largely uninspiring game of football in a match where two managers for me set out to get a clean sheet. So in that sense, Lampard and Solskjaer got what they wanted, but that really was largely a crap game of football. Yes, that should have been a penalty for Chelsea. But aside from that, given that Chelsea are the team that spent over 200 million this summer, they offer nothing, absolutely nothing against our defence. Man of the match for me is between Maguire and Lindelof. I thought both of them played well. Anything that Chelsea gave towards us, they sort of swatted it away. But it was a game where Solskjaer didn't change his starting 11 from the Newcastle match. Now, after the PSG game, I know a lot of you wanted Twanzebe to start in that game. You probably wanted to see maybe Greenwood come on for James. But Solskjaer stuck with his team. James was in there. Mata was in there. And let's be honest, that's the last time that Dan James should be starting a game for Manchester United. I'm sorry. I think the jury's out now on Dan James. He had that blistering start. Then he went quiet for basically the rest of the season. Then he scored right at the end, two games in two. Dan James isn't good enough, not with the quality of the players that we've got there. I'd much rather see even Donny van der Beek play further up there. Penny for Donny van der Beek's thoughts, by the way. He's sitting there, join Man United, going to play in the Premier League. Gonna... No, you're not going to get a minute in the Premier League, mate. Feel sorry for him. But, you know, Solskjaer there, look, you can have a go at his starting eleven if you want. Ultimately, I think, given the madness that we've had in the last few weeks, we've had the 6-1 against Spurs, we opened up with a 3-1 against Brighton, so scored, conceded nine in our first two home games this season. Solskjaer will be happy at that game, happy at a clean sheet, happy at a match that doesn't, isn't littered with controversy. It was, was it more important not to lose that game? I don't know. The game was clearly there for the taking. And I think Solskjaer, credit to him there. He actually made a double substitution in the 57th minute. We saw Cavani, who nearly scored with his first touch. That would have been wonderful. Pogba came on too. And then in the 82nd minute, he took McTominay off for Greenwood. So you can't really say that Solskjaer didn't put the players on the pitch there in that second half to win the game. You can about that starting 11. But as Solskjaer showed last season, he's more than happy to put out an unchanged 11 if he feels the team is going to go out and do it. But the, the team there didn't do it today. We just had that lack of quality in the final third. That, that, because Chelsea were playing so deep, we couldn't really find the balls in behind. And it was a shame because Chelsea were really there for the taking. I'm happy enough at a point against Chelsea. As I said, look, in this summer, so much was said by myself as well. So much was said about how Chelsea had been backed by their, man by their board, by the club. They backed Frank Lampard. Over 200 million spent. Havertz, Ziyech, Werner, Thiago Silva, Sod knows who else they signed. Mendy too. Outrageously good. Not outrageous save, but a decent save from Rashford there towards the end. I expected Chelsea's attack to th really threaten United the whole game. I was worried about seeing Maguire and Lindelof as a centre-back pairing because of the pace of Werner and of the... the Chelsea attack, but Chelsea, let's be honest, they were shit going forward. United at least had 14 shots. Yes, we didn't really threaten that much. The best chance, I think, was probably Rashford in the first half. But Rashford, for me, is a player who is far better when he doesn't have time to think about what he's doing. If he has to be instinct, boom, PSG goal. If he has time to think about it, his natural instinct is still to just put his foot through it rather than trying to finesse it. I think he suits a quicker game where he has less time to think about it. This is my opinion on Rashford. Good to see Cavani make his debut. I'm really struggling for talking points in that game because there really aren't that many talking points other than the fact that we kept a clean sheet. And maybe that in itself is it should be the main talking point. We can't have madness in every single game of football. It's just not conducive for a full season of watching it. it might be more entertaining than that, but that's not what Solskjaer wants. He wants his team to be solid at the back and to be creative going forward. And we didn't have that creativity there. You could see what Cavani offered there straight away that I don't think Martial and Rashford do. I think he's got that experience. He's got the runs in the right places. Bruno Fernandes trying to dictate from every position he was on the pitch, whether that would be a defensive midfield for the last 10 minutes or attacking midfield. He was everywhere again. Telling Luke Shaw to overlap when Luke Shaw wasn't really overlapping. It's a largely uninspiring game. 
It really, really was. I think Solskjaer, as I said, will be happy at the fact that United got the clean sheet. I think Lampard and Solskjaer went into that game wanting a clean sheet more than anything. Maybe not more than a win, but they wanted that clean sheet and they both got it. Chelsea got it because they sat back in their own box, basically for the full 90. Chelsea fans might disagree with me, but that's what I just saw. They didn't see Chelsea even try. No pressing from Chelsea in United's half. Anytime we had the ball, they were just like, yeah, you can have it. You can have it. We're not going to do anything. And I don't really think they did anything. But after the PSG game, after the Newcastle game, I think United fans were all G'd up. We wanted United to go out there, just get that win, keep that run going. But if you had told me before the games that we were going to beat Newcastle 4-1, that we were no, that we, yeah, you know, you're going to get three points against Newcastle, three points against PSG, and draw against Chelsea, we'd all have taken it. We've got Leipzig coming up next, and I think it's Arsenal the week after. So the games are coming thick and fast. You can't have fireworks in every game, and after the madness of the last few weeks, maybe it's something like that that can just rein it in a little bit. But we need to match a clean sheet like that with the sort of attacking quality that we had in the last 10-15 against Newcastle. Put those two together, you've got a team who can challenge for the title. Easier said than done, I know, but who was your man of the match? Uh, I like Lindelof's bursts that he made. He sort of created chances where chances weren't being created. I think Maguire, clearly it was a penalty. United got lucky there. For some reason, they didn't look at the decision again. That's just ridiculous that they didn't do it, but it didn't. It's what it is. I'll take that. But for me, it's one of those two. Let me know what you think. But does Pogba come in against Leipzig? I suppose there'll be plenty of changes for Leipzig. I think we will see Tuanzebe start. I think we might see Pogba start as well, but you can't see Dan James start anymore. Juan Mato, clearly he's, he can play a role. I'm not sure if it's starting, starting games every single week. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. But a nil-nil, it was uninspiring, let's be honest, but it's a clean sheet. And I think Solskjaer will be really, really happy about that.